Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Humbo here and today I'm going to be going over my keybinds. Uh, I really do think my keybinds are extremely optimal, especially if you are a beginner or starting to get into keyboard and mouse. I'm going to go over a couple tips before I actually get into showing you guys my binds. So if you're just looking for that, make sure you guys uh, you guys can skip to near the end of the video and I will go over all of my keybinds and why I have them how I do. But I do want to get into a couple tips first. So the first thing that I'm going to tell you guys is by copying a pro's binds or a really good player's binds, that's not necessarily going to make you a better player. It's going to take time. You're going to have to practice consistently with those binds if you want to see the results. Also, certain binds do certain things. My binds specifically are optimal in concert with my sensitivity to have really good mechanics, really good editing, building, that sort of thing. My aim, however, I would put around a C to a B plus. My aim is just around, you know, a mediocre to just slightly above average aim. So you guys have to keep that in mind. My aim is not God tier. It's because my sensitivity is on the higher side and my binds and focus with what I do is to counter that with really good mechs, really good tunneling, building, editing, that sort of thing. So you guys have to be able to understand that certain binds are going to be better for certain things. And you also need to understand that no matter what, whose binds you take, no matter what pro it is, it's going to take a lot of time to get good with those binds no matter what. Something else that's going to be super important, guys, is once you've found a set of binds, rather that be the set that I showcased today or somebody else's binds, I do recommend that you do not mess with your binds or sensitivity too much. Once you find something, you really do need to stick with it and work with it, and over the long run, the person who is most consistent with what they practice on and use will be usually the best players. You can get used to anything. It is not a requirement to have the most optimal binds every season and keep chasing that. It is important to find a set of binds that's comfortable for you and really stick with it through the long haul. So now getting into my settings and key binds and keep in mind, I switched to keyboard and mouse in season 10. So it's been over a year now and I've honestly found a ton of luck with these key binds. Like I really have been very lucky. I haven't had to change much. They've stayed very optimal and very comfortable for me. You might like them too. I know a lot of people are always asking on my Twitch streams to try them so i'll be going over all of my settings today encompassing everything explaining why i have it that way so just sit in and i'm gonna educate y'all on the binds man and also if you guys are interested i do stream every single day on twitch.tv slash ihumbo in the mornings eastern time so if you want to catch that make sure you stop by the link will be in bio so let's get into it guys right off the bat i do play 1798 by 1080 and i know these aren't binds but i'll be going through settings as well i cap my frames personally at 144 and i play on 60 hertz 140 brightness, no real reason for that. I do think that your color blind and strength is all uh, preference. I do play Dutch up 10 and getting into other settings. Obviously I have everything on low because it is optimal and my 3D resolution's at 100, which I could lower that a bit, but you know, it, my PC runs it fine at 100. V-Sync off, motion blur off, show FPS on. I do direct X11, multi-threaded rendering on, uh, use GPU crash debugging off, latency markers off, NVIDIA, reflex low latency off and latency flash is off for me um, getting into these settings i'll scroll through them but the only thing that's really important here that i do uh, specifically is I, I do edit on release so as you guys can see right here obviously turbo building on uh, reset building choice on but confirm edit on release i edit with single edit bind f edit on release and obviously i'll get into my edit bind and settings like that in a second and nothing else here this is all preference replays and stuff like that but yes i do play edit on release uh, HUD scale, this changes if I'm playing creative or in-game, but you guys can look through that real quick. Nothing too crazy here. I usually play with a smaller HUD. Getting into my sensitivity, which is a very asked question. Guys, I play 800 DPI, keep in mind, in concert with this. So 800 DPI, and I play with 8.4, 8.4 on my X and Y uh, sensitivities for my mouse. Uh, that usually doesn't change much. It might change a little bit here or there, a couple uh, point, like 2.3 either way, but I've been sitting at 8.4, 8.4 for a while. 62.1, 62.1 for targeting and scoped. And yeah, all this stuff is also just preference. Uh, I do, obviously do not have settings for that. This is all just sound. And now we'll be getting into the much awaited keybinds. Okay guys, so now getting into my keybind specifically, we have WASD movement, of course. My jump is my spacebar. Uh, a lot of these things obviously are pretty much a given. Left control here for my shift. I use six for auto run. My fire is left mouse button, targets right. Reload with R, use is E. 
my harvesting tool is actually click down on middle mouse button. So you're gonna notice I use a I use all three parts of my uh, scroll wheel on my mouse. Click down is for my harvesting tool. Mouse wheel up, so flipping my mouse wheel or scroll wheel up brings out my shotgun. Q is my second weapon slot, which is right next to W. It's very nice uh, for me to be switching to my SMG. And then I use three, four, and five on my keyboard for my AR and then my you know utilities or heals. For building here, you're gonna see I use double mouse spines for my builds, which is probably the most optimal and the centerpiece, I guess, if I were to say of my binds. It's what I would classify my binds as, is double mouse bind builds. So I use, uh, for my walls, I use my top, thous, uh, top mouse button um, for my walls, and then I use my bottom mouse button for my stairs. I use C. Uh, for my floors and I click that with the same finger as my edit bind my pointer finger does both it clicks C and F for my edit bind Which I'll get to in a second and I use left shift for my cones. I actually use T for my traps I'm not sure why that's not showing up, but it does work. I use uh, left mouse button as everyone does for place building uh, repair H Change building material right mouse button and for building edit I obviously I use scroll wheel reset and then I use F, single edit bind, edit on release for my editing. Um, I've only ever done single edit bind, actually. I've never tried doubles or quads. Uh, as you can see, for reset building edit, I use scroll wheel. And yeah, guys, that's my settings for keyboard and mouse. I think these are very optimal binds. Uh, if you give them a try, I do think they will work out pretty well for you. Yeah, guys, that's gonna be all for this video. If it did help you out, please make sure you hit that like button. Please make sure you subscribe if you're new. And guys, once again, I will be live streaming on Twitch every single morning, Road to Twitch Partnership. If you guys wanna help support that, the link's in the bio, man. And yeah, guys, without further ado, I'm gonna let y'all get on with your day. Peace out, man. It's been humble, it's been real. Peace.